to Team M Tutes. Today I'm going to be talking about how to study for microbiology. Now I'm sorry I had the camera in a really bad position on the last few videos, but I'll be able to show you the book better. Um, okay, so where do I start? Microbiology. It is a very broad topic. Um, there are so many different bacteria. Uh, some are relevant to people, some aren't, and this is why it's hard to get a good textbook. Now, I actually did microbiology in undergraduate, um, and I got a big textbook like this, um, and to be honest, it's completely irrelevant. That is useless for medicine, okay? You don't need to know the intricate details of E. coli DNA to understand how to treat someone for an infection. You really don't. So, Microbio is one of the few that I don't recommend a textbook for. There's MIMS Medical Microbio if you're super keen on textbooks, but the details wasted on you. Um, so the way I would do it is take your lectures like law, okay? Because especially when you're in the theory component of the course, it's hard to get an idea of what it's going to be like in the actual practice. And I feel like for microbiology, that's where most student doctors will actually learn what is done in practice and how it works in practice. Um, but the key is to learn small like small, simple details and case studies. I'm sure every medical school has case studies that you do, so you'll get gram stains, different types of agar plates, things like that. It's good to know a, a, an overall understanding before you get into the clinic. So, I would learn the common types of bacteria, which I'm going to list off as fast as I can. Pseudonomus originosa, TB, E. coli, Klebsiella, Streptococcus, Pyogenes, and Pneumoniae, uh, Haemophilus influenzae. Um, oh man, I run out already. Um, uh, Microphilus, lots of uh, Aerophilus, uh, um, Helicobacter pylori, blah 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 blah. There's heaps more, but there might be about 30 or so that you actually need to know clinically and need to know basically how to treat and vaguely what they're susceptible. So. Strep is nearly always susceptible to um, amoxicillin. Staph aureus is basically resistant to everything. Pseudomonas has intrinsic resistance. Things like that. And you should know that ticarcillin is used for pseudomonas. Uh, amoxicillin is a broad spec. Beta-lactam. Like stuff, little simple things that are actually practical um, are important. To do with viruses, uh, it's worth noting the differences between DNA and RNA viruses and... I feel like the detail in vi virology is more important than in bacteriology because in virology, a lot of new drugs are coming out that are going to block parts of that pathway. And especially um, if you've got a patient, you need to be able to explain very basically what the drug's going to do. And it's hard to do that unless you understand it quite clearly yourself. Uh, but there's heaps of good videos, look at Khan Academy, things like that, that explain virology, um, how DNA, DNA viruses replicated inside the nucleus, RNA in the cytosol, and all the different types. Uh, it's pretty easy to get up to speed with that. Uh, what else? And I don't know, anything that you think is important. Like, we all get colds and things like that. It's important to know that you don't treat that with antibiotics. It's also important to know that if you've got a sore throat uh, with, with nasal involvement, then it's basically always a virus. If there's no nasal inv involvement, then it could be a strep throat about a, a fifth of the time. Um, yeah, things like that. So, oh man... Um, so, altogether, microbio isn't really that hard, but you just have to learn the things that you need to know, not everything. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, don't buy textbooks, it's a waste of money for this one. And I hope that's helped you out, guys. Check out my other videos. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do some toots because I updated Windows to 8.1, and now I can't use the um, the little like writing tool to do to do more toots. But check the ones I've done out anyway. I've done epithelium and extensors of the wrist. Um, extensors of the wrist are particularly hard, so hopefully that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. I'm The Medical Method. See you later.